What's going on everyone? This video is kind of unexpected and things has popped up which if you clicked on this video you probably know already what it is and I want to make a video about it. It has just kind of rubbed me the wrong way and with all the controversy around No Prep Kings, Street Outlaws JJ, everything that's going on right now, I wanted to make a video about it and try to shed different light on what happened and tell you why it happened and also tell you what I feel like the result of what happened is going to be and if you don't know what happened Boosted and Chuck gets in a scuffle some say a fight on the starting line at the very first No Prep King season 3 race in Maryland and there's going to be a few clips pop up on the screen of said fight I'm going to do this in a news type video from say your local reporter would do and obviously I am at home in Alabama it is Sunday this happened yesterday and I was not in Maryland from what I have gathered happened Birdman and Ronnie Pace raced at the very first No Prep Kings race in Maryland and Ronnie Pace's car was tore up or whatever the case might have been he was up there on his golf cart or something different and he was going against Birdman. Birdman actually red lit and the fight happened over whether to let Birdman advance or not. And like I said, what actually happened is not really why I'm doing this, but apparently Boosted, which Boosted being from Texas, he wanted to let Birdman advance because obviously Ronnie Pace couldn't and that is a sticky situation and this is also the main reason why I have heard over and over why Chuck is way too impartial to be the you know the guy that is over this and that is supposedly why Boosted GT stepped in he is supposedly supposed to be impartial completely and make the final calls. It shows right after the pass, them two talking or whatever, Boosted walks up and puts the mic in front of Chuck and then it kind of turns away and then you see Chuck turn around and go, we can do it right here. And Boosted kind of stands there and Chuck with a bottle of water in his hand squirts the water in his face, which is a big you know, disrespect to Boosted in front of all the fans in the stands and while the fans probably cheered and hollered and got excited when they went to fighting the backlash will come later on and Chuck is known as being a hothead as he has fought numerous people you know people from California the GOAT um, he actually almost got into it with JJ because some of his people disrespected JJ online trying to get a race together and Chuck is also well known for one that doesn't back down and will do whatever he needs to do to, you know, fight, basically. And Chuck should have took a second to turn around and see what he had in his hands. And what I mean by that is no prep kings. This is his baby. This is his idea. This is his to screw up. And on the starting line, we, you see Ryan Martin. You see several big name guys standing right there the best place for this to happen was not right there in between the lanes at the starting line at all you see chuck squirt the water in boosted's face and boosted is kind of in shock with the microphone in his hand he turns around hands the microphone to someone else and goes after chuck everyone is saying that boosted whooped chuck or that it was staged and i don't think either happened it was not staged it was legit and it was separated so fast that nobody actually won. Chuck has said that Booster did get a couple of hits landed and there will be retaliation from this. And I just cannot believe that these grown men has let this happen. I understand competitive and you know, just, it seems like a power play from Chuck and my, that's my opinion. But the main focus of this video is what will happen after this? Why? Why did this even happen? Why cannot they step aside and figure it out? Look at Outlaw Armageddon. 
with Nick and Jesse and them running it, this would never, ever happen. One man has the final say-so, no ifs, ands, or buts, and he is a well-respected person, and everybody respects his opinion. Same at race night. The guy at the finish line gives the final call, and the flagger says whether it jumps or not, no matter what. If you go back and remember the NOLA days, BJ had to, you know, do the same thing when uh, Scott Taylor and Kai raced for $40,000 and Kai jumped. He said that he was done with it, and this was actually the last episode of that series because of the same bull crap. The very first race in season three of the show, they're going to do something this stupid to screw it up. I cannot wrap my head around it. These guys have something handed to them that has changed their lives and for the better, turned them immortal to the whole world of racing's eyes and just handed to them to, you know, screw it up. I understand in a reality television show like Street Outlaws, controversy and things like that, boost ratings, whether it's good or bad or whatever, they boost ratings. But this to me is a little different. This is a racetrack. This is fans are there watching. You have got to have more control over the situation than what they let happen yesterday in Maryland at No Prep Kings season opener. I do not get it. It, it, there were so many good things going on there that why would they let something like this happen? It just blows my mind and it takes the focus off of the things good that happened and just focuses on things like that. How can you let some someone or people run a event this big when it stuff like this is happening? I mean, this is forty, fifty thousand dollars to win so people are going to be super competitive on top of that there's a point system where at the end of the season you win what two hundred thousand dollars worth of cash and prizes yes they are going to be super competitive but no matter what rules stand for a reason and if what i heard was correct about him red lighting and if they let ronnie pace take the tree in a golf cart on a skateboard in another car whatever they decided yes against that then Ronnie Pace wins without a doubt Birdman gone Ronnie Pace wins that's the end of it that is what the rules say I have been thinking about different videos to make I have been reading so much stuff Larry Larson is getting rid of the S10 and apparently has a CTSV that he is going to be driving I'm not sure when I have heard that he wanted to break some records with the truck before he sold it but there's so many people that is that truck's a pro mod it's no steel roof and quarters and it's such a big controversy around it that i want to make a video regarding that plus you know some new cars that are around eric bain boosted ego is running tony folks old car the blue dragon it's a split bumper camaro beautiful car and with him driving it's going to be a wicked fast car but you're taking away from all of this amazing stuff for childish crap that is going to kill the show. Gonna It'll boost the ratings while it happens. Everybody's going to be searching for it. I mean, that's why I'm making the video is because it's mainstream right now. But in the long run, it's going to hurt Chuck for one and two, the show, because there's so many people that does not want to see that stuff. Yes, there's a lot that do, but the majority don't. Sorry I went off on a rant. It is something I felt like needed addressed and everything that I have seen so far is just focused on one aspect of it. What happened or the fight, I wanted to put them together and give it to you first. That's what happened according to the internet and I can't believe that they are letting stuff like this happen. I do not think it is the fault of Boosted. I think that Boosted was just protecting himself. He cannot be disrespected in front of all of them people and just walk off. That can't happen. It is mind-blowing that this happened if everything is true Chuck is not one stable enough mentally to have this role as the race master for this entire series it's absolutely ludicrous that this has happened and a disgrace and disrespectful to the sport and especially no prep kings but that is all I want to talk about on this video I have more videos coming like I said with Larry Larson, um, just new stuff that are going on 
in the world of no prep kings and the main 32, 40, whatever guys around the sport. Also, as you can tell, Blue Balls is back. It is fixed, and we are fishing to get rocking and rolling on that ride. And thanks for watching, guys. I have a lot of things that are coming in the past week or two with the baby born. A lot of things have settled down and changed, and I want to pursue this YouTube 110 times what I am right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about the whole Chuck boosted no prep king situation. Also, if you know something that you want me to talk about or research into and give you the, the story on it in a video form, put it in the comments. Also, email address on the screen. Shoot me an email. I definitely see all the emails. Sometimes comments fall through the cracks and I don't see them all. Thanks for watching, guys. Godspeed. I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.